Good morning. Hello, Susan B. Honey. This is really interesting. Um, when I go push the button for live on the cell phone, it seems as if it literally appears as if I'm live right away. But as I'm looking up here at the live thing, it's like 20 seconds it says that this video has went live. Yes, hello, you all. Yeah, I haven't been in here yet. Um, heating. Oh, so that did they do something to my um thing on here? Let's see. Did they do something to that, you all? Let's see what they did. Oh, so they changed my um thing on here, you all. Oh, we're going to fix that. That's right. We're going to fix it. Let's see. I can't believe that they did that. But I can, I can believe it. They changed it because they didn't want to uh, people to see it, you all. That's, that's fine. Susan, honey, are we surprised? I'm not surprised at all. I really am not. Um, that happened on purpose. Do you think I would purposely do that? No, I would not purposely do my thing like that. Good morning, you all. So, yeah, Hello. They're doing that a lot lately, Susan, honey. They're a playing with us. P-L-A-Y-I-N-G with us. That's okay, you all. I'm going to fix it. I didn't want to have to get on my big computer. I didn't. I thought I can just do this with the cell phone because we're going to go somewhere with this, and I am going to be uh, speaking a little more about um, the Swiss um, today. I am. I hope I, it's my plan. You know, we can make plans within our heart. Um, and our footsteps are determined elseway, elsewise. I'm trying to see if I can make the right password in here with one hand. No, I've already messed it up. You're all just going to have to hold this phone down right now. I got to fix this. So let me fix this. In... And right now, I'll be back in one minute. Let me let me get rid of this one thing, you all. So, it, it is black right now. You all just have to wait. Yeah, because it messed me up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm almost there, you all. I've got to change this title since they decided to... Hearing, hearing, hearing. How about heating? Okay, now I've done it, you all. So now I fix it. If you're just tuning in, they had changed that to hearing. So now I've, it, I know that looks wild. I've changed it to heating. Let's save it. Let's save it. And I'm going to make sure it's fixed now. Let me look. I'm going to go over to my other channel, you all. We're going to talk about this. I'm sorry. There, heating their homes above 19 degrees Celsius, and which is 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit is what it should read. 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, let's look at this. Let me turn this screen off right here. Let me do this. I know I've got a lot of stuff going on. No, actually, I want to, I've got to fix that to six, six, um, let me go back. It's 66.2 is the conversion, and I want to put the conversion, you all. See if I can get it 66.2 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Uh, it was on a fact check, and I thought, well, I'm going to check that fact check, is what I said. Now, I'm all situated. Yes, I am. I'm situated. All right, so let's look at this. So, um, this is from the SwissInfo.com check right here fact check let's look at this let's get right into it thank you for coming will the swiss be jailed for heating their homes above 19 degrees celsius which is uh 66.2 degrees fahrenheit whoopsie so we have these little things you have a thermostat looks like a yeah as if soaring energy prices were not enough for people in switzerland to worry about along comes a rumor they say it's a rumor a rumor that they will be fined or even jailed if they set their thermostat above 19 degrees Celsius. So what they did, 
Um, they said, like uh, other countries, Switzerland is preparing for possible energy shortages once the colder months set in. When I saw the word colder right here, collider, particle collider, you know, they need that energy, you all. They need that energy uh, in Switzerland, the great Haldron particle collider. They need it. So anyway, this is the, this is the rumor. They're going to get fined or even put in jail. Um, and um, they're trying to prepare for a possible energy shortages with the colder months. And uh, one proposal, this is how it started, a proposal was offered, it was announced by officials in Bern at the end of August, B-E-R-N. Uh, and I will put the link of this article in here somehow. I, I will, I'll find it and I'll put it in here. Um, it spawned a rumor that circulated around the world, around the world. They say there's a weird story about Switzerland. It's going to fine and even send people to jail if they heat their homes more than 19 degrees Celsius. Is it true? That's what they want to know. Is it true? Susan, honey, that's right. When I lived in Nevada, when I lived in Henderson, Nevada, this was back in the 90s, when it got really hot, there was a time of day where they would literally turn your thermostat off. And, you know, you weren't allowed, even though it was an old-fashioned thermostat, they wouldn't let you heat. That somehow they could control the thermostat to where your house would not get above a certain thing during certain hours. They they had that technology already. Uh, all right. So they have they these people wanted to find out if this is a true thing. So they you know they went to all these places who um, put the article out, put the information out, saying you know violations of the gas ordinance could result in prison sentences and fines. That's how they, they went on about it. But here's what they said. Look at this shoe wall. They said, The measures are still under consultation. Marcus Spondili, a spokesman, spokesperson for the Department of Economic Affairs, Education and Research, who is, who quoted in Blick, said, um, The story has been misunderstood and incorrectly interpreted by some. Um, they were quick to point out that no one country is at risk of receiving a penalty for cranking up the heat in their home. Here's, here's, how they, here's how they got by it. There is currently no shortage of electricity or natural gas in Switzerland, he wrote in an email. There are, therefore, no restrictions or ban on energy usage in force that could be violated. He didn't answer the question. He skated around there. They're saying if you turn your thermostat up above 19 degrees Celsius and when this shortage comes, you're liable to face fines and get thrown in jail. And all he does is says there is currently no, no shortage of electricity right now. And so, therefore, there are no restrictions to the energy use right now, is what he said, right now. Um, so, um, they said that there is, that, that is actually a four-part, a four-part of a four-step plan that Byrne is proposing to deal with the gas shortage, which officials said cannot be ruled out. They cannot rule it out. They're not going to rule it out this winter given the geopolitical situation. It's a draft ordinance that has been sent out for consultation, and all the stakeholders have until September the 22nd to share their views. September the 22nd. So um, they have appealed to the population, is what they have, appealed to the population. But this ordin ordinance, it's going to, you know, you have, you can... Submit the 22nd. That's it. After that, you don't have no say-so. Your voice will not be heard after that. Um, so the government said, if, if the government ever decides to go ahead with this plan, if, if means there is a possibility. When you use the word if, if is, it's not set in stone. It's not set in stone. If the government ever decides to go ahead with this plan, the limit on heating would not necessarily be implemented right away, if at all, if 
That's because measures taken would depend on the severity, if it's really severe, the severity of the situation. The first step would be to urge the people to reduce their consumption uh, by turning down their thermostats. Only if things did not improve would the authorities move to the third step. Well, where's the second step? Okay, the third step, which includes obliging the consumers, starting with the public buildings and offices, and then, if necessary, the households, to cap their heating at 19 degrees Celsius. This rule would apply only to places heated by gas-powered systems. Households consume more than 40% of the natural gas in Switzerland, according to the government, so the restriction could have an impact on overall consumption. Compliance is therefore an important matter. In theory, penalties are possible in the event of a severe gas shortage. In theory. Um, so, um, look at this. No, the Swiss government won't give you the CHF 200 to snitch on your neighbor. I don't even know what that is. Close monitoring, they say, is not feasible. Um, however, they said the process of issuing fines would be cumbersome um, to do it individually, you all. Pursuing the violations under NESA would therefore be complicated. In any case, strict checks are neither feasible or not desirable. Strict checks. No, they'll just uh, cut, they'll cut it off. They'll cut it off like that. They can. Here's what they do this. Load sharing. Load sharing. They practice it here where I'm at. And it was a, a, a month or two ago where they cut the power off uh, anywhere from two to six hours or so because they've already shut down all these coal plants, a lot of coal plants. So now there's not enough plants to supply electricity even in the summer months or the winter months because they shut them down. So no, no one plant can bear the load. The remaining plants can't bear the energy load. They can't. Uh, and if they tried to, you know, that would fry the grid. It would. There's not enough. There's not enough. So as for jail time... Well, it would be theoretically possible under the NASA, a judge, oh, they said you could do that, you all, if authorities ever did, if, there's the word if, they ever did issue a fine to someone breaking a rule on heating, a judge could consider CHF 30 reasonable, but a CHF 3000 fine would not be seen as a proportionate to the crime. As for jail time, well, it's also theoretically possible under the NESA, a judge is not likely to consider the proportionate either. Um, if a restriction on heating homes ever came into effect, there's the word if, you are if. The spokesperson said the likely scenario is that most people would follow it, the most likely, just as most people complied with the measures like social distancing and working from home at the height of this in Switzerland, we trust people to abide by the law. So the verdict, they say, is false. That's what they said. It's false. But they sure did throw in a lot of ifs, ifs, and saying it is theoretically possible. Theoretically, it's possible. Uh, and if, um, if the um, shortage was... Um, severe enough, they said, um, they would do what they had to do. They would. Um, but they said it cannot be ruled out, given the geopolitical thing. So that is, it is not totally false. It's not. It is something that has been proposed right here. They have to come up with a plan. You got to come up with a plan when you um, are facing restrictions on electricity, but there's no currently no shortage right now, but they're preparing you all. They are preparing for it right there. They're preparing for their um, thing. So yeah, dealing with a gas shortage, it cannot be ruled out this morning or this winter. And you have till September the 22nd is your deadline. 
So yeah, anything's possible in this world that we live in because the world has been turned upside down. It's like um, Alice in Wonderland. She goes into an upside down world. Yeah. Um, words do matter. Yeah, words matter and they're powerful. So the same thing would happen here. We've already been informed through the local electric companies that there will be load sharing during uh, excessive energy use. If it gets really cold, since they don't got enough plants, you know, uh, to share the burden of the electricity, they are, they are, they're going to cut it off. And um, the other people will get heated, even, you know, they'll cut your electricity off regardless, so. But to be thrown in jail and to be fined, that's really bad. So if it's uh, 19 degrees Celsius, if you could not turn your furnace up above a 19 degrees Celsius, which is 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what they go by in the United States, um, well, you might want to have some extra winter clothes. You might want to get long sleeve flannel shirts or a jacket or a coat or even a blanket to wrap up in. You want to wear long pants. You're going to have to have some socks and some shoes, maybe a hat. Uh, it is possible to survive during this type of condition. It is. You just got to bundle up. Just, just pretend like it's a cold day out there, you all. But that, that cold will chill you to the bone. It's good that they're letting people know ahead of time. It is, but yeah. So, um, never heard of that before. I didn't. But I will be sharing more on Switzerland today. That is my plan inside my heart. My outcome may be something different, but yeah. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. There is. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you charge your car or do you stay warm? Um, do you charge your car or do you stay warm? Oh, you must be talking about electric cars and stuff. You bought a Grizzly and put the pipe out the window. Robin Bond, that's a good idea. It really is. Um, I ordered, um, you know, those rope. I have like, I need like a half an inch rope gasket for my wood stove windows. I hadn't replaced that in a few years, so I've got that coming tomorrow. And I've got um, uh, insulating things for the insulating inserts for the inside of the wood stove. And I, I bought a new damper to go over it. I'll try to get my stove prepared for winter, you all. And it's expensive if you can even find what you need. I went to the local store to even look for like an 8-inch damper. If I had to put in a different type of damper, there was one. And the rope gasket for my wood stove, they only had one type, and it was really thick. That don't fit in my wood stove. So even the supplies for your stuff, if you didn't get it when it first came out, it's going to be hard to find it in your local stores also. Yeah, hello, Apple Brooks, honey, you all. So the Switzerland, I don't know how much CHF30 is compared to the dollar CHF30. 3000 is a lot well, when you had to pay for not having health insurance, that money was through the roof. You couldn't afford to buy health insurance because you're going to have to pay around $500 a month for your whole family when it came out, sometimes even $1,500. And if you didn't buy it, you had to pay the fine when you couldn't even afford the fine, which is not right. So yeah, people do get fined. Uh, if they can find you, they'll find you. And it, it's not it's not unheard of. It isn't. Even if you ain't got the money, um, the very shirt off your back will be required of you at times. It is a CFH30. Does anybody say what CFH30 conversion dollars? Did you somebody already tell me that? Uh, I don't know what it would be. I have no idea how you would convert that. You all, I ain't going to try it. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Um, Four hundred dollars. That's wrong. That really is wrong. And just um, 
All I can say is we better make sure we're prepared for winter with some warm clothing, cold weather clothing. If you've got to go to a thrift store, and there's nothing wrong with going to a thrift store or a Goodwill and getting some clothes. Some people might have an aversion to it. I don't have an aversion to it. Um, I can get some better deals at times there for especially the style I want. Uh, and I, the stores, you can have it. Yeah, just make sure you're prepared, you all. Don't don't get cut off, caught off guard. And you better have some extra blankets or something. You, I'm sure you'll figure something out when it comes right down to it. I am. Um, that's right. Um, 144. Boom. Hot pads for your blankets. You can heat up a rock. Um, some people remember when they were little, they had. Um, there's certain rocks you cannot heat up. Because they'll explode. You can their 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 grandmother would heat up some stones, some certain type of stones, and put it under the bed or something, or get the bed warm, and they would lay in it. It was really nice. They said, um, "Yeah." So um, that's I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this right here. This was the article, and I will if I if I am allowed, because I don't know what the future holds. Um, I'm going to speak more on Swiss, Switzerland. I am today, I hope. So, yeah, you can, if they put those things in, a, in, a, in effect, you will get jailed and or you will pay a fine for heating your homes. Um, they have till the um, 23rd to voice their concern, September the 22nd to voice their concern. It is an ordinance. And uh, they'll they'll urge you to obey the law. You will. And um, if you don't, I guess some um, you're going to get yourself in trouble. This right here said the verdict was false, uh, but then they go on to say that it would take effect only in case of a severe natural natural shortage. So how can you say it's false? The only way you can say it's false right now is because. There's no heating shortage at the present moment in time. Therefore, there are no fines at the present moment in time. That's the only way this thing can be considered false. If, if you say, well, as of right now, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Um, but they just said it would take effect only if a case of severe natural gas shortage. And fines are, in theory, possible. It would be difficult for authorities to issue. No, it wouldn't. They'll just raise your bill. They'll pay more. They'll they'll hit you where it hurts the most. Um, yeah. So I am going to go, you all. I am. And um, so with that being said, just prepare yourself for winter. You never know what's going to happen here in the United States either. Anything could happen. Now someone's talked about a Carrington event. We're going to get a Carrington event that's going to come this way too. Um yeah, a lot. So many theories out there. It's uh, just pick one. <laughs> pick one of the waves of theories out there and see if you can ride that wave and see how far you get before it comes crashing down, you all. <laughs> That's right. I am going to go, you all. So with that being said, thank you for being on here. And um, you can look that up yourself. You can, because I, I don't know how I even put that on my phone, from my phone here, but you can find it on the the swiftinfo.ch uh, fact check. Uh, you, you can just put in this. Will the Swiss be jailed for heating their homes? And it should take you right to here. There's your info. So with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all. Thank you, moderators. Thank you for your comments. You all. It's something really, and that is a that is a possibility. It's a very high possibility that something like that could happen, not just there, but across the world. Love you.